All right, begin. what's going on y'all and welcome back to the channel i hope each and every one of you are doing well this morning so i wanted to come on here real quick and talk about this information that i got now to protect the integrity of my platform i want to say that the information that i'm about to convey to you is all alleged now what i want to discuss briefly is this tape that pimp c allegedly had of him and beyonce getting busy we know that the tape was equivalent to the ray j and kim kardashian tape and Pimpin Ken has been on record stating that the Beyonce tape was way better than the Kim Kardashian tape. Now, I must say that I've gotten a lot of positive feedback in regards to the videos that I've already done about this situation, but two people in particular have stayed in constant contact with me, and I was shocked when these two individuals hit me up because they've had their hands in the game, especially when it comes to Southern hip hop for quite some time. So I didn't believe it at first until they FaceTime me and it was like, yo, it's me, it's really me. So we ended up chopping it up and having some real serious dialogue about this situation. And what I've been told is it's no secret, especially in the Houston area and Texas as a whole, when it comes to the hip hop community, there's always been rumblings and there's always been suspicion that Jay Prince was behind the fact that Pimp C is no longer here. Now, I've been told that Jay Prince was allegedly paid a lot of money to confiscate that tape away from Pimp C, but Beyonce and Jay-Z always felt a little weary about it. They always felt that Pimp C had a duplicate of the footage of him and Beyonce getting busy. Now, another thing that was told to me that I find extremely interesting is the fact that when Pimpin' Ken said that he saw the footage of Pimp C and Beyonce, I've been told that there was no way that Pimpin' Ken should have saw that footage because the deal had already been made and Jay Prince had already got the tape from Pimp C. So how could Pimp C have footage if that was the only copy, right? And so ultimately, Pimp C reneged on his word. He didn't keep his promise. And so the question is, is that when he showed Pimpin' Ken this footage, did Pimpin' Ken tell everybody about this footage back then? Did Pimp C show it to other individuals? Did it get back to Jay-Z and Beyonce that they saw this footage of Pimp C and Beyonce together? Now, even though it's been said that Jay Prince turned over the footage to Jay-Z, I told you guys in my last video that it's also been said that Jay Prince still has a copy of the footage of Pimp C and Beyonce. Which means that Jay Prince did the same thing that Pimp C allegedly did, and that was make another copy, right? So I don't know if Jay Prince is holding on to this copy to use it as leverage against Jay Z and Beyonce for whatever reason, but it's evident that Jay Prince has definitely had a hand in keeping this footage alive. Now, let's pivot and go back to when I said that Jay Z and Beyonce were always a little bit skeptical of the fact that Pimp C had another copy of the tape. Well, that same skepticism led to a meeting between Jay Z and his camp and Jay Prince and his people and it's being alleged that the conclusion of this meeting led to the result of what took place on December the 4th 2007 Point. now when Pimp C passed away they said it was because he overdosed on scissor right and it was a combination of that and his sleep apnea now i want you guys to pay close attention to what pimp and ken had to say about how pimp c looked in the casket that funeral man you know the, cra the craziest thing about that funeral right the funeral was big yeah but nobody talk about when we went and viewed the body yeah. Only a hundred people was involved. In man, Pimp C head was this big. Stop it, man. Are you serious? Man, yeah. it was this big, dog. I mean, you know. He was darker, too. Hey, too. too he hey, was darker. His, darker his lips was look like plastic. His, his whole face. So, too short looking at me. We looking at each other like, you know. And everybody just looking at each other like crap. We couldn't even believe this shit. Bro, the said. casket was so heavy. Dog, that nigga. How they, how they made us carry that casket was w once we pulled up to the uh, cemetery area. We had to carry. You remember we had to carry to that, uh, bro. It was a long walk. They didn't have nothing we could push, push on. We had on to and carry that thing, and we was talking about Chad laughing at us. He left because we were struggling carrying it. All right, so you guys heard that, and I'm gonna keep it all the way up out with you. It doesn't sound like the pimp C just by hearing what we just heard 
passed away from an apparent overdose. It doesn't sound like that Pimp C passed away from complications of sleep apnea. This sounds like it was deliberately done. Now, it's also been said that Beyonce till this day lives in constant fear of this video surfacing and her biggest fear is that her children one day will see this footage. But anyway, I'm gonna let this go right here. You know, I was asked to just, you know, cap it off right here because there's some more information that I'm working on in regards to this story. So I'm just gonna leave this right here. But anyway, I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this particular situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.